So as you can see, my camera in the front yard is at 99% battery. Backyard camera on the other hand, even though it actually gets more sun throughout the day, is at 2%. I've been dealing with this for long enough. I'm gonna put up the ladder, I'm gonna take this stupid camera down, and I'm gonna see if I can replace the battery in it. All right, so here's the camera. It's a little moist, it is a bit chilly outside, but there's no reason there should be a 98% difference between the charge in this and the one in the front. Now keep in mind, this isn't even a month old. So, I checked the connections and everything on it. You know, I shouldn't even be climbing a ladder. I got a bad knee and a bad hand, but... Plug was good and solid, no issues. This is fully connected to a solar panel. It gets sun through the majority of the day. Google is just selling junk. So, I'm gonna set the, uh, well, I'm gonna dry this off a bit. I'll set up the tripod, or try to anyway. And uh, we'll see about popping this face off and getting in here. I'm sure I have a battery I can use to replace it. And if not, I don't care. It's a $100 paperweight at this point anyway. Let's get on with it. All right, get my handy dandy butter knife. This probably isn't gonna be the best footage you've ever seen, but at least try to be on the camera here. Looks like this does have an O-ring in here. You can see that. I'm probably just gonna end up sealing this thing with resin. Looks like this is just probably a typical camera board. Can't see much as far as anything goes there. Let me grab a light, see if I can improve your view. Really not a whole lot to see there. It's shielded. Whatever. All right, what do we got? Small Allen keys. Let's see if I can uh, find my tools for that. Yeah. Little itty bitty guy. like six screws anyway I'll just pause while I get these undone oh nope, got all the screws out just pulled this out with with a pair of pliers uh, stretching things down in there obviously it's clearly not designed to be taken apart Four more screws way down in the base there that I'm probably not going to be able to get to. And here's your battery. Looks like it's a uh, 3.7 volt, 6,000 milliamp hour. 
This is most likely destroyed at this point anyway. Probably not going to be able to replace it. So, at least you got a peek on the inside of these pieces of junk. I'll never buy another Google product.